Hi, welcome back to a new video. <laughs> All right, so with this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to mask uh, and what it masking really is. So masking, if you guys don't know, it's like essentially you are cropping out uh, something from, let's say an image. Uh, maybe there's only a certain part of an image you want and you want nothing else in, you know, that's with the picture. So for example, Let's say right here in my intro, right? I was like, shit, I really want only my civil spider icon. Like, that's the only thing I want. So that's where masking would come in handy, right? Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. First, you have to create another video track because you have to layer it on top of that picture. So essentially think of it as you have a picture and a picture, right? So layering means that whatever over here on the left side where these tracks are, Whatever is on top of the other one, that's layering. So basically the top will over or it will cover up the one under it, essentially, right? Uh, so I'll show you guys as we go on what I mean by that. So let's say I wanted to do the masking, I only want that image. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create another video track. Now there's two ways to do that, two ways. One is you right click where their video track already exists, right? So this is a video track, you right click, and then you're gonna click right there, insert video track, boom. Now, let's say that you're a badass and you already know the shortcuts like I do. All you gotta do is click Control, Shift, and Q, and there you go. You got another video track. So with that, now you're gonna have to uh, get the image that you want on top of the other one. So like right here, I have the same video right on top of another, right? It's the same thing. So when I press play, it's the exact same thing. So. Now this is where we're gonna start masking. So what you're gonna do to mask is you're gonna go to the events pan and crop section, okay? So click on that. And then, now what you're gonna do is right here in the bottom, right under the position, you see where it says mask, right? You're gonna click on that. And then now this is where the fun begins, so to speak. So here's the thing, here's how it works in Sony Vegas. First, I want you to go in as close to the part of the image that you want. So like I said, me, I want my circle, right? Uh, so what I can do is uh, there's a couple ways, but like let's say that your picture requires a lot of like moving like a, It's like not a very common shape Then what you would do is you go over here and you click on the anchor creation tool or just a uh, shortcut is D So what you do is once you have that pen start plotting your points start circling drawing out outlining whatever it is that you want uh, from this image. Okay, so now that you're done, as you can notice, or as you can see, sorry, it darkened out the outside of my image, right? And then only the center is, is lighter, it's brighter. Mainly because it's letting you know, like, listen, everything out here, it's not gonna be shown anymore, only the, light, the lit up part, which is inside the circle, which is perfect, that's what we want, right? Now, we'll watch this. So I'm gonna scoot this over so you can see my video here, okay? Now watch when I move the camera, what happens? Bam. So there you go. I basically only took out the image just like I wanted. Now, as you can see, I didn't do the best job because you can see how like it chopped up uh, some of the lines here, the edges. And that's obviously because you have to be precise with your anchor tool uh, to really make it as good as you can. Um, there's some things you can do to like smoothen that out, but uh, that's a whole different video in my opinion. So, uh, But that's basically it. That's what masking does. Masking is you can take out and crop out a certain part of an image and then you can use just that part that you cropped out for whatever reason uh, this is basically it so all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh hopefully this is useful maybe there's something that you're planning to do and this video helped you out which i would be happy to know that uh okay with that being said i'm gonna go on and edit this and then i gotta edit another video i might actually be recording two videos today i don't know i'm on a roll with these videos and i'm trying to keep them flowing so we'll see all right today's shout out comes from alex renner studios and he said i just found your channel two days ago and these videos are so helpful and the way you describe it Please give me a shout out and do you like cookies? Well, you're trying to send me some cookies. Why are you asking? Uh, but yeah, you're welcome for the shout out. And to answer your question, I do. I actually like sugar cookies like a lot. Um, and I also really like butter cookies. But overall, I'm not much of a sweets guy, so I wouldn't eat too much of those. But yeah, those are my favorite. But okay, enough of that. I'm going to get going. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon.